Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're here as the character Agrobutor, a loyal Kaldari soldier in his Kaldari navy skin Kestrel. Previously, we attempted to defend the system of Fliele, but unfortunately it did not go so well. We were using a mower, we faced against overwhelming force, and, and that overwhelming force was getting kited to death. So, unfortunately, it didn't go too well. This time, we're back going to defend Kaldari space. We're in a Kestrel this time. The reason I wanted to go for a Kestrel is not because it's cheaper, because, you know, you could, a good reason to go for frigates is, or basic frigates, like this Tech 1 frigate over here, is that they're a lot cheaper than cruisers. So, when you inevitably die, it's going to be a lot a smaller hit to your wallet. But that's not the reason I'm actually using this, because to me, the, the cruiser is still not that expensive. It's not the whole world if I lose one. The point is because when I'm using a, a little frigate like this, we're able to go into the smaller uh, capture points. So this means that there are more capture points we can take. But another thing is that there are a lot of people who fly around, I notice, in smaller ships. So we'll be able to encounter more people. So it'll be a lot easier to defend against the smaller players because probably a lot of the Tech 1 frigates, they're too afraid to go into the cruiser complexes. And another reason is that the novice and small plexes that this uh, ship is made to go in is that they take a lot less time to capture. So you don't have to wait the whole day just to capture a capture point. Like 20 minutes is a long time. And especially if you take into consideration that you have to destroy the NPC that's there to be able to allow you to capture, like fully capture the factional warfare point. It's going to be a long time. You're going to probably have to spend like half an hour there. So if you go into the novice and small complexes, it's going to be a lot more chill, I think. And especially since we're in a very tiny ship as well, that's got a very good mobility. We're able to uh, just overall fly around very far. Uh, not like I had a lot of mobility before, because before I was using a MOA with no prop module at all, so we had absolutely zero mobility, so it felt really snow. But now we're using an MWD frigate, a lot quicker ship than the previous one we used. Okay, Hey Dealers is the system we're going to go to. There doesn't seem to be any uh, factional warfare points. No, none seem to be here. Hmm, probably in the next system. We'll check. Essence is a Galente region. So we are on their territory. So we're not really defending here, but we're, we're defending what is the right of the Kaldari. <laughs> okay, we'll go to dealers. Let's see now, have we got a lot of enemies here? Okay, there's a lot of enemies and friends. That's really cool. Medium, hmm. Let's go to this medium complex, see if we find anything here. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to warp at zero. Probably shouldn't do that. But this Kestrel is a rocket-based Kestrel. It's a very basic one. Medium shield extender to get some okay buffer. Uh, an MWD so we can catch up with faster kiting ships. And then weapon scram to be able to catch stuff. Damage control for extra tank. Some DPS from these two modules. And some extra field extenders to provide some slight extra boost to tank. Okay, we've got Imperial Navy Slicer, Heron, Jackdaw, Omen Navy issue. Okay, I wonder if these guys are friend or foe. One, two, three people. So it must be the friendlies then, because I wouldn't expect then all these guys, all the three red people, the orange people to be in there. And there's nothing, uh, and there's no friends at all. It has to be at least some friend if they're enemies here. Oh, check this out. Oh, there's an Imperial Navy Slicer. Let's take out this Imperial Navy Slicer. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's go. We've got Kaldari Navy. Let's see if we can get any closer. Oh, he does a lot of damage, this guy. Let's try to go a little bit to the side. Are we able to pull slight range? Oh, he's able to... He is able to do a lot of damage to us without us being able to do... Okay, we've got... We have no friendlies here. Okay, I thought there was a lot of friendlies. Oh, no, we weren't able to get out of that one. Hmm. I'm just thinking, why weren't we able to do a whole lot of damage to this guy? We can perhaps warp now. Warp. He's let us go. <laughs> hmm. He could be perhaps a no-prop fit. I don't know if he was moving very fast. Maybe he's there to just absolutely annihilate people who are real close. Because I thought that these were the people there, but... Oh, silly. I didn't do the... I didn't do the... Short scan. Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> that was a quick little battle. We can check what kind of fit he was using. We can look up this guy, Sully Manduri. We are ba barely able to do any damage at all, actually. We, we just got his shields down. We did barely scratched his armor, let alone his entire ship. He's doing an extreme amount of damage to us. 
So he was using an Imperial Navy slicer. Hmm. And he was a pretty tanked one as well. He's got lates. He was doing a lot of damage too. He was using a prop mod as well, so he was able to move at a decent speed. That was a pretty uh, hefty ship he's got. Export. Oh, he had 9k EHP. Whoa, that's a lot of uh, tank he has there. And with, let's see how much damage he had with Conf, like 190. So he did similar damage to what we were doing. We are doing 190, I think. But we would have had no chance here because he's got an extreme amount of buffer. Oh. But 9k EHP, whoa. That was an unfortunate quick end to our Kestrel. I wonder how we could incorporate this style of extreme buffer fit with an active tank into a Kaldari based ship. Because I want to use preferably Kaldari based ships since we're fighting for Kaldari, but there's nothing saying we can't per se use the Amarian ships. I'm surprised how much shield HP he had. This was our fit. Uh, he had almost double the amount of EHP as us. We had slightly more damage with overheats, I think. Oh, he had probably more overheated. How much range would he have? Mm, he has some decent range. He has similar range to the Rage Rockets. Overall outclassed. More mobility, I think, this ship has. Well, it's got an afterburner. So when he's using a scram on us, we cannot move at all, and he's able to move. Yeah, we didn't really have much of a chance here. Hmm. All right, so we're here back in Jita. Some bits that I've been considering to use for the next round of factional warfare attacks are going to be probably worm fists. Uh, these are going to be a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a potential, I was thinking. Because the thing is, when it comes to these novice plexes, the biggest uh, ships you're able to use, or well, not biggest, but most expensive or most powerful ships you're able to use, are faction ships. And faction ships, usually the more powerful ones, are pirate ships. And a worm is a very powerful pirate ship. Uh, the problem, though, with using this is that it is a very powerful ship. It's known to be a very powerful ship. So very few people are going to engage us it could be good though because it will allow us to uh, take the sites in peace the only problem is that if someone is going to attack us they're probably 100 percent going to have some hard counter to us so that's also a bit of an issue uh, we would probably have to be very um wary of the enemy we're up against because then we just have to make sure always that kind of a counter that would work against the worm the problem is i don't really know what kind of uh, counters work against worms the one of the counters i do know that work against worms are i think garmas because garmas i believe they are able to knock out the drones pretty hard because they've got really powerful missiles the garmas and keeping out range and i think if they're fast enough they might be able to outmaneuver the drones as well so I'm thinking of future fits we can use, but I was slightly disheartened there how we went down so quickly. Uh, and I think we definitely need to use a more powerful ship or at least a ship with more just general tankiness and firepower. And it also depends if we're going to enter the plex or we're going to defend the plex. Because if we sit there and wait for someone to come at us, it's going to be a different strategy than if we go and engage someone else. Because if we engage someone else, then they're going to be... We probably want to have a more powerful ship or like a just overall very powerful ship because... Um, they've got everything prepared, they're going to be at the perfect range. Like this guy we face now, he was at a range that was perfectly optimal. He was using pulse lasers, he was really close, and he used an afterburner because he was able to scram anyone with an MWD. So anyone with an MWD, like myself, is going to be using no prop all the time. It's just going to be overall, he's going to have complete range control, complete uh, complete uh, DPS overwhelmingness because he was doing more DPSness and overall a lot more tank. So we... Uh, we really need to uh, consider what we could use here because one thing I was thinking is that a worm could use if we wanted to say defend these kinds of uh, plexes so we just want to sit there and like you know repel people who come there we could go with a no prop and even no scram with no disruptive fit and that could be used then to anyone who starts to get cheeky we uh, just uh, we uh, destroy them with overwhelming force uh, or they just run away the problem is that they can run away if i don't use a warp disruptor of any kind uh, we, it'll be hard to have a lot of range control but i was thinking that you have just a full tank full dps just overall it's gonna and you use light missiles on this worm then uh, with the drones plus light missiles you'll be able to hit out at like disruptor range so anything kiting you you're probably going to hit uh, the only one thing i'm thinking is that gamma's probably could be an, uh, an issue but uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see i think that the worm definitely has a lot of potential for doing this kind of uh, activity the only problem is it's a very expensive ship worms used to go a lot cheaper a long time ago if we look at price history 
Uh, I don't even know if you can see it now, but you can see here, yeah, 100 million is if we go back. You see they went for quite a bit less, 83 even here, 76, but they even at one point went for like 40 million isk. They're all really cheap. So it is a bit of an investment. Not that I'm, I'm not too worried about it per se, but what I am worried about is that because it's an expensive and powerful ship, we're not going to get much interaction or at least with the only interaction we will get are hard counters and that probably will not be as interesting. So it's, it'll be, it'll be, um, I'll have to think about this. I'll have to think about this. Uh, we could also use the mower again. That's also something I'm thinking about because I did like the mower, but we did a really big mistake by not uh, using the warp disruptor early enough before, and that's what allowed uh, that Kikimura and uh, what was now Confessor uh, to kite us pretty hard. So if we had avoided doing that, uh, then it would have been a, uh, perhaps we would have at least been able to take one of them out. Um, however, I'm thinking that it is uh, a bit annoying to have to wait in the plexus for 20 minutes. So we'll see. We'll see. I preferably want to be in a small or novice plexes and perhaps even a destroyer could be an option because destroyers can at least go in the small plexes as well so time to do a lot of thinking time to do a lot of thinking until next time we'll find a new fit that we can use to defend kaldari space because agrobruto has not been performing uh, as he should he should definitely be able to perform better than he is right now he is for you guys who haven't uh, watched previous videos with him he is an alpha clone so he's not going to be performing optimally compared to an omega clone but he's still a very capable alpha clone so it's not like he's a weak or anything like that uh, so until next time Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you at least learned, so, learned something new. Sorry that it ended so quickly there in that short fight, but I definitely I understand that I have to rethink our strategy when we're tackling these factional warfare sites. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.